finally, finally, finally. So of course I'm back with it really quick. Of course, of course, of course, back with it. Look at my dreams review. So of course, who has been long since I actually did a dreams review? About a couple, about a week ish. Um, I did the recap for the Master Zone. Plus eight, which really wasn't nothing. So just whatever. Again, it's obvious to selling up for Sterling and Violet because this is League would have been way over by this whole series. We should have been way over done. But I guess I want to still keep it consistent. Slash up before Scarlet and Violet because yeah, Scarlet and Violet literally come out in November. What we still have what September, October. So we still have what November. Yeah, we still have at least a monthish of journeys probably. So I guess I'll get in next month because again they're kind of rushing slash. Kind of do it they did, again. The first half of this episode is really great and amazing. Then the second half just kind of goes like, What the heck happened to them? Did they lose the budget? Did something happen? Did someone jump a ball? Did someone lose their Poke points or something? So, uh, the Poke coins from Pokemon Go. But yeah, episode was simple and easy though. So yeah, again, it's just like what they were doing the second half. Uh, they'd be, uh, again, I'm going to get into it later, but holy crap. If you guys want to skip the video, laugh, blah, blah, blah. You guys know I am, but yeah, I'm gonna hurry up and burn through this video really fast. I've been doing the last couple of videos just so you know, get it done and stuff like that. Because today, you really love to test my patience, but I'm a YouTuber! Yay! But yeah. I'll go with Martin and... Yeah, of course. I'll go ahead and get something though, of course. So yeah, of course, the episode starts with everybody bashing go pretty much just lazing around again, not in the stadium at all. Which, again, they pretty much took a break and everything, so yeah. But of course, they figure out um, a new, I guess, like... The flower Pokemon for Galar, I cannot remember on top of my head right now. I'm so sorry. I believe they're migrating and evolving so they can um, move on pretty much. So, stuff like that. Of course, as you go, I can take that opportunity to watch them evolve, grow, and leave pretty much. So, again, it's a typical Pokemon thing where you see migration, evolve, problem, leave. Yeah. It's all I just put my training pretty much and stuff like that. Of course, Knight's a little different. We've seen, haven't seen this in a long time. We see Dragonfish freak out. We see Dragonite come in. Uh, see Gengar. Again, this is good to see, like, good. Again, the first half of the episode is so good. The second half is just like the little sec the second half is just horrible. But yeah, of course, then we see Cynthia up here though. So yeah, in a different new style too. I love it. Like I love seeing Cynthia in different outfits. We saw her like in the Unova one, which really just changed her shoes, pants, and shirt. Of course, her sandal outfit, which we already seen, which I love her design. I love Cynthia designing character. I think I'm starting to just after all these years, is where I'm starting to see a doubt of my friend <laughs> since Cynthia's a top waifu. I can see why uh, stuff like that now. So yeah, again, she's just. She's cool. She's just really awesome as a character and everything. She's just growing on me as I do more of these journey reviews, which is going to end soon, though. Don't worry. You guys want to binge all these if you guys want to. I uh, just see all these journeys reviews. So, that, of course, I have a whole playlist. Um, maybe I'll link it somewhere around me before I end the video. Uh, I have a whole playlist of all my journey stuff. Um, so, you can, you know, if you missed out on anything, you want to just quick review them, go over them, binge them if you want to, audio, hear it. Um, whatever you do in life, um, I don't know if you have the gym working out, want to watch one of my videos, see my sexy, smooth ASMR voice. Um, yeah, I have a full, I just updated my channel, I have a full playlist for all these so you can bench them and watch them every day. Okay. So, yeah. Of course, I will see everybody pretty much training and everything, of course, obviously Guard Chomp training up. We see I had a little, like, a back sword right here, pretty much, and Cynthia just instantly pointed it out, and she just pretty much, um, Make some like just go full on speed heal them and stuff like that. They're pretty much I like it though. So of course you get flying off more. We kind of saw it lagging a little bit in the air there. But of course we see even like I just getting hyped. You know that was like pretty much awesome. Of course see these two kids. Of course pretty much I have no idea what the names are because I didn't see anything from them. We see them again pretty much draw the Pokemon and stuff like that. Of course again pretty much kids I guess you know up, probably being up to become Pokemon trainers. Of course they all recognize Ash and everything equipped pretty much from the World Championships. I like that. Again, the first part of this episode is so good though. And of course we see everybody pretty much getting along and everything. I love so much. We see all the different evolution lines. We see um, everybody just getting, getting along. Beautiful moments and stuff like that. Of course, we see there's um, viewpoints in life. We see, um, you know, compared to Ash and Go, you know, she's seeing like her point of view and stuff like that. You can see her outside of Bow and everything, like her seeing her Pokemon train, see how she does how she does her, da her daily life. Again, the more I think about it, am I having this little side? I am. The more um, I think about it, um, the more I actually do like it though, because again, it's simple, it's easy. We see, we see Cynthia, young Cynthia, which Honestly, shocked the heck out of me when I saw this. I was like, holy crap. This is insane. I like it. So we got a good story right here with Cynthia right here. So basically, she just, again, we see how she um, dealt with, you know, training. Just, you know, her not being a champion. It is so crazy. It is early as there right now. It's just all over the place. And I love it. So we see, like, young Cynthia having her, I know it's Gibble in here. Pretty much her Gibble egg. So she trained, sleeped, waited. Um, and pretty much bought her Gibble until the hatch stuff. Stuff like that. Of course, we see that, um. You know, we see, like, you know, how Ash pretty much, you know, like, how the Ash and Rio, like, how they bond and stuff like that. Again, they're a really good episode overall. Like, it starts out so good, though. They always want to see just more 
upon more stuff. I need to probably pause real quick. I'm gonna pause be right back. I have no idea if I was going outside. They'll be at. Um, future me, take the editing away. You already know how it's gonna be. Snap. Ooh, okay, I'm back. I don't know why I keep doing that. But yeah, of course, we see um pretty much uh, how Ash and Lucario pretty much bonded. Of course, we see um how. Again, we're just like seeing all the few points. Like, we saw Cynthia with her um gibble and everything. Beautiful scene. Again, I love that. Like, just. I mean, can, can I have a... Yeah, just beautiful scene. Again, they were seeing me with Ash and everything. Of course, pretty much how they met and everything. But this. Again, the best part of the episode right here. Young Cynthia. She has her long hair, which is. Utterly crazy though, of course. It's all Pokemon training. You see him pretty much their perspectives and everything of what happened. It's beautiful, it's awesome, and I love it though. It was so, it starts off so good, but then this, this later half just. Yeah. Then, of course, everybody, you know, pretty much you know, focuses on um, everything though. But yeah, everybody still starts training and everything, everybody having fun. We see the Pokemon start to, of course, migrate and go away though. Of course, then we see we cut back to the stadium with Leon versus on. Excuse me. Leon versus what they have now. So yeah, this is where the episode just gets bad. Like it, it gets so bad right here. Of course, they were um figure one Pokemon's actually missing. Um, the fall Pokemon for Galar. I don't remember. I'm so sorry though, of course, and they tried to so try and find it though, stuff like that, of course. Yeah, but it was migration um, Yeah. Oh yeah, well, better thought of that song. But of course, they start to migrate and everything. I have no idea what the heck is happening. But yeah, of course, they start to migrate, and of course, um, I see they start to um, look up in the sky and. Okay, yeah, they start to evolve some of that via the sunlight and everything. Beautiful animation, though, still. Like, that episode's really good in animation. I'm um, not slacking, though, so of course, like that. Of course, still, the season's over there, of course, the Pokemon evolving, going away and everything, of course, and then they start to head back to the stadium. Again, as this whole thing is going on, by the way, I just. Man, this pissed me off because that's the whole time this is going on. They literally could have did the whole Diantha piece. Like Diantha versus Lane, uh, Diantha versus Leon, like they literally cut it because of that one scene. I would I don't mind it as long as they cut back to it or something, but they were this fight so bad. Like Leon barely has any Pokemon Diantha has like, like two left. And then by the time we get back in the stadium, it's like it's pretty much over already, pretty much. Because they really room versus um Gudra, then of course it just, you know. Again, they just get late. You barely see the fight. They're pretty little just the um, one shot Gudra. I mean, I love Gudra. Just, man. Uh, this episode was just, uh, The first half was just. That part specifically sucked. Like, you really could have just went to the Diantha thing and just. Then cut back. And just. That episode was so bad. Holy crap. Of course, again, like I so said, we just see Leon destroy Gudra, though. So, yeah. Then, of course, we see everybody's pretty much reacting over and stuff like that, of course. I think then of course we see um Guard pretty much come out and everything that this pretty much last stand Pokemon. Um seeing T Rocket pretty much yeah, announcing everything of course. But yeah, then of course Leon starts to go on full power, then of course Guard Force starts to um, move around, start to um, getting more offensive and everything, of course. So really home gets knocked down so of course Leon of course still has like fifty more Pokemon because our Charizard because again Yay, but Leon's supposed to be the strongest and supposed to lose again. This is the reason why he's doing this. Oh uh, again. The whole reason Leon's like, yo, he's not supposed to lose or anything. Everybody lost against the Uranus. But still, I can't bring that up, though, just because. But yeah, though. Then, of course, see Diantha make off for Pokemon. Of course, ready, pretty much ready to wrap things up. Of course, uh, Leon's just gonna go full on out, just go take Gandax and just <laughs> murder and stop this thing. Like, yee! Leon's like, no, I can't lose. Even though I have like five Pokemon left. <laughs> it's going fine. Then, of course, Leon pretty much um, tries to take the cake, though, and Diantha gonna try to pretty much wrap everything up, though. Of course, actually, just get full on fire spin and destroy, though. Like, Leon just hounds and hounds and hounds on Diantha, like, over and over. Of course, Diantha has to fight back and everything, of course. Um, is that a max air stream? Yeah, because that's like air slash. So, yeah, it does have air slash. Then, of course, um, of course, Cynthia pointing out everything, pretty much all, every flaw, every little, like, you know, detail at the end of the battle. Of course, Diantha and Leon pretty much congratulating each other, pretty much just again, just going full on out and everything. Then, after that, it just ends. She gets one shot. Sorry, Diantha, you got disrespected. Because I kind of get Leon again being the champion, it's supposed to be undefeatable. And they literally also can be the Raiders, and you guys maybe do that. Diantha literally gets one shot here for no reason. Like, they're like, okay, I, I kind of get it why again. They want to add for Leon. Makes sense, but like, you clearly shown us like, some of the battle. Like, I gotta get maybe people up right now. And the whole battle, the whole episode just focus on battling, which I don't mind because it's more animation, more flashbacks, more people looking through and everything. But it's just like, now it's like, yeah, they just don't care anymore. So, yeah. Again, not the best, again. 
It just the second part just sucks. No. This is just ridiculous. Poison Rice. So happy to that. Yeah, Leon never loses Woohoo. And then, of course, obviously Cynthia again ready to go on everything, of course. Um very much again. I love for some of this new design like right here is so good though. Again, more creative, more tease. Of course, see um they thank God for pretty much um, you know, um, you know, um, just Oh yeah, smiling. <laughs> yeah, putting in the thumbnail, that's gonna be fun. Uh, but yeah, though, <laughs> we got some memes right there. You guys don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, that spicy card of art we seen all over the internet. Just, now we got some new material right there, just, again, waiting to be memed on, waiting to be just... <gasps> oh, that's gonna be so good. Honey and butt, let's go! But yeah, though, of course, again, that's gonna be so funny. That's gonna be so crazy, though, so, yeah. Then of course, like I said, the episode top pretty much there, of course. As I said, they're ready to battle along and fight and everything. Pretty much is their next match. Again, the episode just ends up there. Again, just, I kind of get, again, Leon not losing good stuff like that. Makes sense, again, champion. Makes sense to save him for Ash and um, him and Ash last. Him and Ash last, my voice cut over for a second. Which I don't mind, though. Again, I don't mind. But it's like, you didn't really have to rush it. Like, again, the first part of the episode, again, I don't mind it. It's great. It's beautiful. So, young Cynthia, I love that. Probably the best part of this episode so far. I loved it so much. Then the ending just gets second half. It's like, oh yeah, it's waste time to find the Pokemon. It's let it evolve. You know, a typical moment, which I love too. But it's just, it's like they just, I guess, try to combine two episodes into one. It's just they could easily just did like, you know, next episode will be Diantha versus one, uh, Diantha versus Leon. They can't make that a whole separate, separate episode. They can't make this episode focus on my actual part. Of course, next episode would be next episode will begin with D Diantha and Lance. Just so if you wonder if they really, really, really wanted to do that. I feel like they could have did that easily though. Not waste a whole episode of we see Leon once, then he just counts on Diantha and it's over. Like no, they should just make this a whole separate episode. I would have loved it. They did it for Iris and Cynthia, they did it for Leon for so long. Again we had the gang to make up the battle afterwards and you know, long we got murder stomped, we saw it still though. It's just that man, they just really could have not been bothered to show that. I'm I'm sorry, the episode just uh, it's good, but the second half it's that Second half piece sucks so bad. Like they really that's why I rushed through this. I just did not care about the second half. It's just they had something good going, then they mess it up like that. Like how in the heck do you do that? It's just utter pain right now though, just uh, disrespect to the fire but stone of the stag that got burnt. Like, now the scientific term is he got hit in the head <sighs> But yeah, see you guys are though, this is what I'm like, dick well, I'm gonna get them as well. Since they have watchers and that's all people got. But my master will talk up a little on YouTube, get back to the can. Plus I guys in the cup, I'm sure to find the Discord social every freaking way. We get there we got to the episode. Of course like you hate it again. Um uh, again, just Again, like I said, I get Leon again. Being the best, he can't be defeated. It's gonna save him after Ash for last. I'm glad. Again, they should just made this episode Ash and Cynthia. Let them bond. Then, of course, next episode should be Diantha versus Lance. If they really want to stretch out and get that, you know, don't want to start the next season until Scarlet and Violet air to the game that's actually released, they could have made this again a separate episode. And then again, it would be like, oh, a filler episode. No, it would have been perfect if it did that. Then, the next, then this episode would begin with them. You know, on the last Pokemon, the next episode will kind of maybe lead on to the final battle piece. And that half would be like, you know, Diantha versus Lance, of course, Cynthia versus As, and we get a little bit more context of, um, I'm going to say uh, Leon versus Diantha. Whatever, I get them mixed up anyway. Then, of course, you know, it would be on by Ash and Cynthia, like, Soren got them, like, pretty much into I guess they couldn't make that one better. But I'm sorry, though. Episode first, again, first half amazing. That second piece half sucked. But yeah, I'm, again, that's pretty much all I've got to say. Sorry, nothing, not really from this episode. Great. But then it's like, it just goes down. I'm like, come on, Pokemon, we've seen you be do better. You can do better. We've seen you do better. Just come on, just don't. Just, just uh, whatever. But yeah, see you guys there, though, again, though.